first testing of plasma facing components of the ITER outer diverter target full scale prototype started at the Efremov Institute in St. Petersburg in late October 2012. The components tested refer to the Tokamak's crucially important and sophisticated heat capturing elements that will directly contact plasma at the ITER facility. This is a sort of the first barrier that is to withstand the main heat flux from plasma. And as the plasma temperature is to reach 150 million Celsius degrees and the expected heat load on the diverter surface up to 20 megawatts per square meter, the components under test should meet the respective high requirements. To conduct the tests in Russia, a special IDTF facility with 800 kilowatt electron injector has been assembled at the Yefremov Institute. It enables to expose the EDA components to the same heat loads they will face inside the EDA vacuum vessel in the standard operation mode. Definitely. This is of vital importance in the context of special requirements to their reliability and operation parameters. At the moment, we are witnessing a very important event. The Japanese testing assembly has been delivered from Japan. It is the prototype of the outer diverter target that Japan is to procure for the ITER facility. The tests we are carrying out there consist in loading the plasma facing components with the same heat they will be exposed to at ITER. For that, we use an electron injector. The target surface will be heated by the electron beam inside the vacuum vessel that you can see on my left. The tests being carried out in Russia's northern capital are a vivid example of close international cooperation within the project implementation, as the components for tests have been manufactured in Japan and shipped to St. Petersburg for testing on the Russian facility. The works are being carried out at the presence of Russia's and Japan's DA's specialists as well as I.O. experts. This will be the first of several dozens test series, results of which will make it possible to adjust manufacturing technology of these ITER components.